Hi, welcome back. In our previous videos, we have seen what do we mean by the HCF and LCM of two or more numbers and what are the different techniques to find the HCF and the LCM. In this video, we will see what is the relationship between the HCF and the LCM of the two numbers. So let us learn it through an example. Suppose we have to find the HCF of 6 and 10 and also the LCM of 6 and 10. We first find the HCF and the LCM and then we try to find out the relationship between them. So to find the HCF of 6 and 10, I, I will use the prime factorization technique. So I prime factorize 6 as 2 3s are 6 and 3 1s are 3 and I prime factorize 10, 2 5s are 10 and 5 1s are 5. So 6 is written as the product of the prime numbers 2 into 3 and 10 is written as the product of the prime numbers 2 and 5. The common factor here is 2 and hence the HCF of 6 and 10 we have figured out as 2. Okay, I hope everyone knows this. Now we will try to find out the LCM, the lowest common multiple of 6 and 10. I will be using the common division technique for this. Let us take the least prime number 2. 2 3s are 6 and 2 5s are 10. Then we take 3, 3 1s are 3 and 5 we write as it is. And then we divide by 5 to get the 2 1s. Once we have got all the ones, LCM is the product of 2, 3 and 5 which gives you a 30. Now let us try to find the relationship between the HCF and LCM. So HCF of 6 and 10 is figured out as 2. LCM of 6 and 10 is figured out as 30. Okay, now we will find the product of HCF and LCM. So HCF into LCM gives you 2 times of 30 which gives you 60. Okay, and now what are our two numbers? Let us find the product of those two numbers. Product of the two numbers. The two numbers which we have used are 6 and 10. So the product is 6 into 10 which gives us a 60. So what do we see here? We see that the product of HCF and LCM is equal to the product of the two numbers whose HCF and LCM we are figuring out. Okay, this is the relationship between HCF and LCM of two numbers and this is true for any two numbers which we take. Okay, I hope this much is clear. Let us do one example. Uh, two numbers have their HCF as 8 and LCM as 96. One of the numbers is 24. Find the other number. They have given us the HCF as 8 the LCM as 96. Let the two numbers be A and B. So one of the numbers A is given as 24 and B we have to figure out. We know that HCF into LCM is equal to product of the two numbers in this case A into B. So HCF is 8 into 96 is equal to 24 into B. And from here we get B as 8 into 96 over 24. 24 4 is up. So we get B as 8 into 4 which is 32. So the other number is nothing but 32 
we can check the HCF of 32 and 24 is 8 and their LCM is 96. So this is all about the relationship between the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of two given numbers. If you have any doubts regarding the HCF and the LCM, you can send me an email at kirti.mathacademy at gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel Math Academy. Please subscribe to my channel on the link given below if you have liked my videos. Thank you.